Hello everyone. My name is Arpit Kirk and uh, today we are going to discuss about implementing two stacks in an array. So let's get started with this video. Here the task is to create a data structure two stacks that represents two different stacks in a single array. Here we are going to create two different stacks using the same array for storing diff uh, element in different stacks and this function is going to implement these following four functions which is pushing the element in the first stack pushing the element in the second stack popping the element from first stack popping the element from the second stack we will start with the basic approach and then we will go toward the implementation of two stacks which is space efficient let's start with our first approach first we are gonna create an array of size n as you can see the array of size n is created now we, we can simply uh, divide this uh, array in two halves from 0 to n by 2 the first stack and from uh, n by 2 plus 1 to n minus 1th index in second as you can see we have divided this array in two parts from 0 to n by 2 with index and from n by 2 plus 1 with index to n minus 1 with index and this change can't be altered therefore there is a possibility that uh, it will uh, waste a lot of space which can be used Let's understand this with the help of an example. In this example, we are going to take an array of size 9. As you can see, in the stack 1, the elements from 0th index to 4th index will be placed. And from in the second stack, the elements from uh, index 5th to index 8th will be placed. And we are going to push the elements from the middle. For example, if we push the in the first stack uh, any value like 5, it will be pushed here. And we can keep on pushing elements in any array depending upon um, where we want them and the uh, as uh, we push the elements in the array these uh, variable which are pointing into these index will keep on changing like in the case of stack 1 we will decrement the value and in the case of stack 2 we will increment the value as you can see, we can keep on uh, pushing elements in any stack. Now, as uh, the stack one is uh, completely filled, if we uh, try to push any element in the stack one now, then it will be overflowed. Even if uh, we can see there is plenty of space remaining in the stack two, our uh, data structure will be overflowed. And this is because we had already given them a fixed amount of space. As you can see in this approach, our space is being wasted. Therefore, we will uh, go to an approach which is space optimized. But before going to the next approach, I am going to show you the code of uh, this one. So. This is the code of new algorithm. In this algorithm, as you can see, we have created a data structure in which we have input array size top 1 and top 2. We will uh, just take n as an input and then make it, uh, it as a size and then create an array of size n and initialize it with two pointer, uh, two variables which will be used as pointers 
one top one and another top two and we push the elements in the uh, stack using push one as uh, we check the condition each time that either the uh, stack is empty or not and similarly in stack uh, two every time we pushes the element we check the, it, uh, is there space available or not if there isn't then we print out stack overflow by which element and here is the code uh, of the uh, when we port the element we check if there is element present or not if the element is not present then we print out stack underflow and the similar concept is followed in a pop2 function now we are going to discuss about its complexity the complexity of each operation in this code is on big of one and the auxiliary space used is also big of n but the uh, issue here is it is not space optimized as we have explained in the uh, video therefore we are going to go with an another approach which is space optimized in this approach we are gonna completely utilize the whole array even in this approach we have considered similarly an array of n memory and uh, which have which have indexes from 0 to n minus 1 but in this case uh, instead dividing the array into two equal parts we will keep this uh, size flexible instead we are going to create two pointers one pointing to the start and one pointing to the end these will be initially in initiated with the values minus one and n but as in the stack one we are going to increment the value and push uh, at that place uh, the value which we have and in stack 2 we are gonna uh, increase the value of the pointer and uh, at that position we are gonna put the value whatever the uh, user have to input and it the process will keep on going and going and going until the value is already placed we are gonna show that uh, that the array is completely filled and therefore you can push any element either in stack 1 or stack 2 but if uh, this condition uh, occurs this means that we have already utilized all the n blocks of the array therefore the space is completely used and uh, we didn't uh, wasted any space and in that case we will print out a stack overflow as I explained, if we try to push element in stack 1 or stack 2 until that completely fills the array, it will keep on going. For example, if we start from uh, here in stack 1 and we keep on uh, filling the elements and simultaneously we are filling the elements in stack 2, it doesn't mean that uh, it will impact uh, anything but uh, as soon as we hit completely uh, all the blocks available for the uh, memory after that if we try to push any element in in any stack it will show that a uh, stack is overflowed now you can uh, see the code for better understanding and you can try to write on your own this is the code for optimized algorithm similarly the, the array and in the uh, push function the change is uh, good now we will uh, check that if the index uh, of first stack and the index of second stack are meeting or not 
if they are then we are gonna print stack overflow else we are gonna put the element in the stack either it is uh, one or two and if uh, when we are trying to uh, pop the element if there are elements to pop then we are gonna pop them and return the value else we are gonna print stack under flow both in stack 1 and stack 2 it is the test program to test uh, the program we have written above and it will uh, produce these outputs now the complexity analysis as in the previous algorithm this algorithm also shows time complexity of four, big O one for each operation but in, in this algorithm the stack uh, uh, uses completely uh, array therefore the space is optimized even if the auxiliary space is same as big of n and with that this video is ended